So I want to take you down memory lane. All right. I want you to love on yourself. I want you to take me inside the mindset. His OPS has gotten better each of the last four seasons. You need a drink or anything? <laughs> you know, I'm always down for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm more fired up for anyone than Tori Lovello. You have to prepare to win every inch all over the baseball field. If you would have saw the warm up before this game, you would have <laughs> thought I couldn't get the little leaguers out of Williams Port. What was the flight home like? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> There's been some A-listers at the digs. Tori Lovello, John Lester, Barry Zito. That reminds you when, when Sandy Alcantara came and you're like, you would never respect a guy like me. He's like, no. But you have to use that mind games. I use that to my advantage because a lot of the pitchers, they focus on the guys they should be focused on. Yeah. Okay. I brought a, Word I, on the street is that, you, <laughs> <laughs> is that you brought me a housewarming gift. Yeah, I, I feel best, a little empty handed. The best so housewarming gifts. Right, my right. bad. My best housewarming gifts are not really for you. It's more for me. Is so it? when I come over, it's something I can. <laughs> board game? Pacino, De Niro, Pesci, Scorsese. The Irishman, coffee table right. mark. That might Let's be, go. It might be the longest movie podcast <laughs> right now. Before we Cinephile, go. Check, it out, check it out. Apple it out. podcast. The Irishman. That might be Irishman. the biggest, longest it. book of all time. <laughs> How good was the Irishman, though? It was that good. It was awesome, great. Man. Just saw they're getting ready, starting a heat, too. Did Heat 2, that? the book was released today. Michael Mann wrote it, and they're making a movie prequel slash sequel. Chino, De Niro, Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer Does it get any better? Oh, outstanding movie. Okay, we They're can sit kids. here and talk movies all day. <laughs> yeah. That'd be fun. But someone used to be the general manager of the <laughs> Philadelphia Phillies, so I want to pick his brain on some stuff. Mm. Okay? Right here, let's get into a little Fernando Tatish Jr. So, Ruben. I was nicked up throughout the course yep. of my career, went on a yep. ton of rehab assignments. What are you as a general manager? I always wondered, what are you guys looking for? Because the player's going to tell you, oh, I'm ready. Eight at bats, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Here no, we go. He, he, here's the thing for me. What is it, May 1st of last year since he put, like, like last played a baseball game at the major league level? For me, it's about his legs. He's got to get his legs underneath him. It's all about the base. For me, I mean, it's one of the biggest parts of his game. But if you don't have your base and you're not moving with agility, with quickness, with speed, he's going to be playing a couple of different positions, right? He's going to be playing short, maybe a little outfield, center, center field as well. Maybe, yeah. So he's uh, he's going to have his legs, and and that'll Are also you make you make the, adjust, uh, the adjustments, like offensively. If you have your legs, you have your power, you have your your quickness. It, it all starts at the base for me, and I cannot let him. I can't rush the guy, man. I can't, yeah. there's, you know, they're not swinging the bats well right now. I cannot rush this guy. He's too important to the organization. Let the other guys kind of blend in. The three guys, you know, we talked about earlier. Uh, let them kind of blend in. He can't be the savior. So you got to ease him in, and uh, you can't necessarily expect him to be, I mean, he's a great athlete. And he's going to be a great player. But you can't expect him to be, like, all cylinders Our right savior, out of here, right? He can't be the are savior. You are you trusting your triple-A manager, double-A manager oh, no. to give you reports, you're no. sending somebody. I'm sending my guy, my right-hand man, is going down there to watch, watch him for everything. five games. And I want him to see, I want him to keep his eye on everything. I want him to see how he's moving, how he's, you know, relating, what his timing's like, I mean, everything. You talk because about taking it on he's the gotta chin. Be, he's yeah. got to be ready. You had your list, top five guys, most pressure on them. Oh, he said, he's, Nando's number one. He's right and at it, the top and with and it can't be. They've got other guys in that lineup now. They, they, it should not be that. It should not be that for him. Yeah. I know he's got the contract. He's already got. I went pressure, down to right? Fresno in 2011 for 21 days. That was no. I point. contemplated. Felt like 211 that. days to myself. <laughs> at that point, I was like, I can't. If, if I eat it one more, Denny's. Oof. Well, the, the oh, players. Charlie's. It's over. <laughs> I get one more potato skin. <laughs> Loaded, I hope. <laughs> on a first day of base with a waitress. All right, Hi, Shirley. Come on. Okay, what do you got? Brewers. Yeah, concerning. I, uh, you can't trade hater. I love being able with this show to initially react and then take 24 hours to digest everyone's opinion and then come back with a better one. But when I initially saw Josh Hader walk out the door, I was like, this is a whiff. Yeah. This is a whiff. I understand what the Brewers are trying to do, but you can't sell it to the 25 guys in the room who are in first place at the time. So now, now there's a little dissension. So I, I, I will tell you through the mindset I will tell you of the GM this, right as a here. player and as a GM, 
across the board, never. And a, a very wise man, a Hall of Famer, Mr. Pat Gillick, once told me, don't ever take away a strength to add to a weakness on a team that is contending. Ever, ever, ever. And that's exactly what happened here. And I'll tell you what, the effect in the clubhouse is every bit as strong as the effect on the field. Yes. And there's no question about it for me as a player and as a GM. This is a move that just cannot be made. I, I Off just, season, I, I, you want to make it. Guys yeah. will get over it. During they're in the middle, training. but you're adding. You want to add pieces. You don't want to subtract. And now you're putting guys like Devin Williams in a position that he's never really had the success yeah. doing. I mean, he even expressed himself. God, that's he right. wasn't I'd, be, I'd be so frustrated. Yeah. It's one of those you go, it's the so-called smart move. Haters get $15 million next year. Got it. Devin Williams is a stud. We have other players. But no, but the guys locker room. Wait, haters won the best close. And then we baseball. DFA Lamette. Right out of the gate. We don't, we don't so want he was a guy. useless piece yeah. in that move. We got a couple of prospects for later. That's a, we got to win now. Cardinals have caught us. I, I, and I'm, you can't I'm, just it, have a guy who's a setup guy and go, you go be the closer. It's so it's surprising. Easy. It feels, it actually feels like a rebuild move. I know you're trying to it's buy. It's almost like he outsmarted himself. They were I sitting there great. like, this is such a good, you yeah. know, they almost yeah. got away from. Right, we'll get another closer. Don't Rogers. Never or? take away from a strength. Okay. Ever. I mean, look at the Oakland A's. Cespedes, gone. They brought your boy in last time. Lester. Turn. Looked like an okay move, but I mean. And then Cespedes Kansas City a... figured out he doesn't like to throw to bases. And then it, yeah, that's true. he had Never to deal with that. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's head out to uh, south side of Chicago. Mm. Quiet deadline mm. for, for a team that I've been waiting for them to wake up and win this division by five or six games. Nobody. What can. do you do with a team that, that, that you know on paper is way more talented. At what point do you go in there and start? You got to add. I mean, listen, if you're a contending team, and they, I know they went all in in the offseason, and they just have not played great baseball. I don't know. I don't know if it's because they haven't dealt with the manager all that well. I love Tony La Russa. Are they connecting with him? Mm. Uh, are they? Is it? Is it a issue of injury? Now they, it, it was. It's it one was. point. But now these guys should be on all cylinders. They got a pretty good rotation. They got a great a number of talented right. guys. Yeah. I mean, this is a very good ball club. You gotta add in that clubhouse because it's a letdown if you don't. It doesn't matter. I mean, even if I know they got Jake Diekman, Diek, that's not yeah. that's not the move. I mean, that's a left-hander. It's a situational sort of situational left-hander that that exists anymore. But to me, I mean, you got to add a like a solid piece. Whether and I don't know where you put them in the lineup necessarily, but you got to add something to make that team feel like, hey, this front office, they're in it to win it. And yeah, I even saw it. that with Toronto when they traded for Whit Merrifield. I was yeah, like, yeah. wow, that's so bizarre. But then you see last night, they could get Springer off yeah. his feet being dinged up. He's playing center field. Mm -hmm. So I, it I, makes I, a difference every time. You know it. You've been in that You've been it in does. that clubhouse. It, it really does. I mean, to watch, I never saw guys really walk out of the clubhouse, but to see them walk in, it's a breath of fresh air. And they finally it's got fun. all those guys healthy. If, if Robert, he, Mankata, Eloy. I mean, now's the time. It's go time. They got the 30s you schedule left. I, the I guess they, you know, the thought process has got to be, you know, these guys have track record. They're going to get it going. Um, I haven't seen it yet. We're still, you know, we're still. Let's go. Yeah. Let's make it happen. I like the digs. Next time I'm bringing a recliner. Like, you yeah. got a tough chair. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't look, you don't look. You don't look comfortable. comfortable. I don't look, I'm waiting for the thing to recline. Like I'm looking for the button the side. Not a, he's like he's on a Cessna. Oh, okay, right. this is just. Uh, could be a little more <laughs> You're a big chase lounge guy. That's what I. Am. I just sink lower and lower throughout the night. You okay over there? I'm fine, thanks. A little more salsa.